You have only begun to discover your power. Join me, and I will complete your training. Right, in this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you're a Jedi in training, as in you know your, your way around Grease Pencil already. So, with that said, uh, let's jump straight in. This object here is basically, I, I drew him and I created him. It's a, obviously a 3D object, a uh, grease pencil object. Now, what's happened in, uh, actually, before I start jumping in straight in, let me just tell you exactly what we're going to cover in this tutorial. What we're going to cover in this tutorial is vertex palette, how to set it up. We're going to also ca ca uh, uh, deal with real-time lights. And finally, we're going to do um, just optimization workflow. So we're just going to go cover very simple things like quick favorites and key maps. So I'm going to just go through through those three, three sections. Right, so let's get back into what we're doing here. So obviously this is a, a, a grease pencil character that I created. He's obviously in 3D. So I created him and the normal workflow for 8.2 was you, you add your materials and then for each um, individual color, would have an individual material for each and every color. But however, things have changed now to a, a optimize and much better workflow. So I, I would highly recommend that you learn this workflow. So say, if we look at this character here, he's Murdoch. So let's turn off these uh, layers. So I created, as in I created the, the material, I still created the material for him, a solid color. And then if I go to draw mode, obviously make sure that your solid color is selected. Make sure your solid color is selected in here. And then if we go to vertex paint, and if I clicked on this icon here, I'll show you the, 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 um, the colors that I used, the vertex color palettes, F solid color. See all of these colors here is what I used. So just imagine I would have had to use every single material, um, but now, because of vertex paint, you can set up all your all your uh, palettes. So I'm gonna just we're gonna we're gonna create a, a simple object and create it from scratch as if we're creating a, a vertex color. So first thing we do is you know the score. We're just gonna um, object mode. We're gonna add a grease pencil blank object. Obviously, there's nothing there for this blank. And then we're gonna add, um, not gonna add, we're gonna just create a uh, square. Okay, so we created the square. Now, we still got add a material. So we're gonna add a material, some new. And then we want, want this material, because it's gonna be a fill color, I just have it fill, yeah? And let's change the, the color to something a little bit more vibrant. It doesn't really matter because we're going to add a vertex paint to it, so it doesn't really matter, I suppose. Right. So this material is called Material 6. Let's call it New Vertex. So we know where we're up to. So you see that? It's just switched up there to New Vertex. So we know we're on the right, the right one. So then if we went to... We clicked on, make sure that this blue icon, not that one, the, uh, the, the material type, this icon here, which is your vertex um, icon. Make sure it's active. Click on it, and then what we want to do, we don't want it on solid color, so that's the, the Murdoch color uh, palette. We want to create a new vertex uh, palette for the solid uh, square color. So we click on here, and then we click on this icon here, and it's come up with palette, yeah? Let's just call it new vertex so it's matching with this one. New vertex. And then we're gonna have, let's just have a, say a, a red color, a red, no, let's have it green. And then we're gonna click, click on the plus sign here. And then let's uh, have another color, which is, uh, I don't know yellow let's have another one kind of purpley 
So we've got three vertex colors and then they're called new vertex, yeah? So that's gonna be our vertex color. Okay, so basically we're ready to start drawing. Make sure that you're, you, you're on, um, if you wanna draw just on your stroke, you can just have stroke. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna have stroke and fill. Make sure these two are on. And then if we was to gen draw, it would then draw on there. Now the reason why it's coming out so dark is because at the moment it's using lights. So if we if you see that icon here, under your grease pencil uh, stroke icon, you've got use lights. So if you turned off the lights, we get brighter. See that? So now if we've got use lights, the use lights is on. Now the reason why it's still very dark is because basically the intensity of the light is very low. So if we then uh, clicked on the object, I mean clicked on the, clicked on the light, and then just whacked up the uh, intensity of the light, and let's just like move it closer to here, and then we went on to see this icon here. This is your uh, rendered uh, view icon to show the lights. If you look at that, it's got all brighter, and obviously we can bring it in and bring it out. Let's lower the intensity down again. Yeah. So if you're having problems, the chances are, if it doesn't work for some reason, chances are your, um, your lighting setup, uh, you're on the wrong shader. So if you go on that, say for example, you might be on that shader and then nothing's gonna happen and you're gonna be pulling your air out. So the chances are for the vertex to work, vertex paint to work, you, you need to be on a correct shader. That also goes right. So that leads us into um, creating your real-time lights. Because the same thing, the same thing applies with your real-time lights. So say for example, we created a, a real-time light and it, let's just create one from scratch. Let's go add a light point and you move it and you don't really see any big big difference with it. Chances are in 3D space it's not either close enough to the object or far away. Or again, like what I said with vertex paint, you could be on the wrong shader. So if the shader's on if you're on the wrong shader, it won't work. There's there is there is also another issue that you might have. If you click on the 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 what's it again, um, the grease pencil object, you might have used lights on or off. So that's another thing to double check. If you have, if you if if you're not seeing your lights working, make sure the use lights is on. There's also another uh, feature, um, setting that you might not see under object display. This icon here, this square icon here, again, there's another visibility um, use lights. So you have got to make sure that these these are on for your lights to work. Cause that could throw you off when you could be pulling your air out. So this is the thing to check, and you're in here and in here, use lights, yeah? That should sort you out. Right, if you're serious about using grease pencil, it's imperative that you you um, you optimize your workflow, especially if you're doing animation, because you want to get in that flow of animation, where you, it's not a technical thing, you're a muscle memory thing, so you're just switching between modes, frames, key, you know, so in this part, I'm gonna just show you how to kind of optimize your workflow. Now, in the grease pencil, you're gonna be switching between modes a lot. Now, the way you can switch between modes, you can set up your tab key to make to switch between modes. So if we go to um, edit, preferences, go to key map, and then make sure this icon here is, is activated, tab for pie menu, make sure that's activated. When that's activated, and now if you hit, hit your tab key, this wheel, wheeler come up. And that will allow you to switch between your edit modes, your draw modes, your vertex paint modes, your whatever mode it is, yeah? So that's a really good uh, a feature. So that, that's important. The other thing you, you wanna get sorted out is, again, is in your um, preferences, obviously your key maps. So how to set up a key map um, is very simple. Say for example, you wanna set up an animation key maps, just type in anim in the, See this icon here, this search icon here? Just type in anim, top couple of words, and then all your animation stuff will pop up. Say for example, we wanted um, 
I don't know, say for example, we wanted to play our animation. At the moment, it's set to R. If we just clicked on it, and it says press a key, and if we hit space, space bar, then that would be set up for our, our what's again, um, our hotkey. My suggestion is pretty, you probably do it anyway, but I'll just throw it out there just in case. He's trying to have your key maps in roughly one area of your keyboard so you're not spread out all over the place. So that's a good idea, right. And the other thing you want to do is once you've uh, set up all your hotkeys, your templates, etc., you can do go to file, defaults, save startup file. And basically, what that means is every time you boot up Blender, all your your all your template, all the hotkeys, etc., are all set up. So it's done and dusted. So every time you boot up Blender, your your work preferences are, are saved and ready to go. So you don't have to go through this procedure again and again and again. Right. Okay, so one last feature is a pretty sexy feature. Again, optimization one is basically, if you don't know it already, it's called Add Favorites. And this is a, you know, a really cool feature. Say for example, I was drawing. So say for example, we, we were drawing and I was just drawing the line here and I wanted to rub it out, you normally just go here and then you rub it out. That's, that's not a quick way of doing it. What they've done is uh, they've added a feature called Add Quick Favorites. So, so for example, I right clicked on this object and then go Add to Quick Favorites. And then I went down to my erase and done the same, Add to Quick Favorites. That's right click, Add to Quick Favorites. And now if I press the Q key, so if I drew and I press the Q key, erase, I can erase it out. So again, I could switch between the different draw modes, draw and arrays, and obviously you can set up any of these icons as a quick favorite. So you know, if you wanted the 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 curve tool as a quick favorite, so you can just add that. So if I went Q again, and then I can start with my uh, my curve tool. So you can set, you can define it, and it, it doesn't just work with these key icons here. It, it works in any mode, so we could be in object mode or modeling mode, and you can set up all your 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 modes in here as well. I mean, your quick favorites with all these 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 icons here. Some of them it doesn't work on, but most of them they do. Just have a play around, and it would be fine. So yeah, um, that's it really. I am your father. Set your feelings, you know it to be true.